In this video, we're going to look at the common minor chords up to the 7th fret. Minor chords have been called sad sounding chords. They're created by using the first note of the scale, the fifth note of the scale, and the flattened third note of the scale. I'll explain this more in a later video. Here is an A minor chord. When we pick this or any of the minor chords, it's important to consider whether to play the fifth string or not. Sometimes playing the 5th string G note can give us an unusual flavour of chord, which may be what we want. Sometimes it's not what we want, so we avoid it in the roll pattern. Here's a B minor chord. Again we have to decide if the G note of the 5th string is going to give us the sound that we want. It makes an unusual sounding roll here, which is great if we want it. If we don't want it, then avoid the 5th string with your roll. Here's another B minor chord shape that I use a lot. C minor is made by just moving the B minor chord up one fret. Because there's naturally a G note in the C minor chord, we can play the fifth string without changing the flavour of the chord. A D minor chord can be made as in this chord diagram, and here it sounds great with the open low D. You can play the D minor in a fully closed shape like this. Move the D minor up two frets and it becomes an E minor. I don't see a lot of players use this position much for an E minor, but I think it works well in a lot of backup situations. Here's a much more commonly used E minor. This is the classic second chord of Foggy Mountain Breakdown and Cumberland Gap and many others of course. F minor gets used occasionally and it's good shape to know. Move it up two frets and we get a G minor. So that completes the alphabet from A to G, but here are a couple of other ideas about playing these chords. For a lot of chords where the fingering is a bit tight, it's not necessary to place all the fingers at once. Here for example is the A minor chord, but I can move the middle finger of my fretting hand with the roll so that it coincides with the picking of the roll. You can use this idea in a lot of situations. Here's another A minor chord that I use a lot. Here's another C minor that I like the sound of. In this clip I don't play the 5th string, but it would sound fine as the G natural is part of this chord.
If you have a fifth string capo or tiny spikes like I do to raise the pitch of the fifth string, you can put it up to an A note when playing in the key of A minor or D minor, and it will fit in with the sound of these chords a lot better. For more great beginner banjo lessons, go to markwardle.net slash beginner banjo.